hey guys welcome back to the channel miss j here today we are making a creamy mushroom and spinach chaffle yes i am still into the chaffles so today we are going to make a very vegan friendly dish so if you want to see it come on back <music> Hi guys, so here are my ingredients that I am going to use to make my chaffle uh, mushroom spinach sandwich. There's my mushrooms, that's baby bella mushrooms. I have maybe a cup, maybe two cups of uh, spinach here. Of course, it's going to cook down. I have my red peppers here. I'm going to cut those up along with this purple onion or red onion and cook it with my vegetables i have my mozzarella cheese here that i am going to blend in to make my vegetables creamy and then i have some sliced pepper jack here that i am going to use on my sandwich i also have some feta cheese here just to give my sandwich a little more um flavor i'm going to crumble that up on the sandwich just a little bit you know then here's my avocado i'm going to slice that up on my sandwich also those are the ingredients going inside the sandwich don't worry about the bananas i'm not going to use those in my sandwich so here are my ingredients for my chaffle uh, of course, hopefully you guys will look at the vi other videos of my chaffle to see how I make this. I've done it several different ways. Of course, this time I'm doing it a little different too. I use the protein, coconut protein powder just to give my chaffle a little bit more texture. It gives me extra protein without giving me carbs. So I use this just to make it a little bit more sturdier, just a little bit more like bread. Um, and so you can do, even though you don't need it, you can do that. And then I want a little bit more texture or I'm just trying to be a little bit better, you know, a little bit better or a little bit more healthier by using chia seeds. Plus I had them in my cabinet and I just needed to get rid of them. <laughs> anyway, I'm using chia seeds in my batter for my chaffle as I make it. And so those are the ingredients for my chaffle along with my eggs there, of course, you need your eggs. And these are my ingredients for my sandwich. So let's get cooking. So here are my ingredients. I've gotten all chopped up and ready to go. I'm going to use a tab or a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to let that melt down along with a little extra virgin olive oil maybe that was probably about maybe a teaspoon or well a tablespoon or two and then i'm going to add some garlic in i'm going to add some garlic in y'all forgive me that's my throat but uh for flavor so we're going to put those in there let them saute about three or four minutes before we add our mushrooms in because we want our mushrooms to kind of keep some of their texture and their shape. I'm adding in some seasonings here, a little adobo, a little pepper, a little salt, some Italian seasoning. You can put in whatever kind of seasoning you'd like. That's just what I chose to put in mine. And then we're going to get our chaffle going over here. We got the waffle iron heating up. As soon as it turns green, we're good to go. Of course, again, you can look at the ingredients um, below on how much I'm using. Or check out one of my other videos for the chaffle. We're just going to put all of our ingredients together and get them in our waffle maker and begin to crisp up our waffle or our chaffle. So 
So here I'm adding in my mozzarella cheese to create that creamy consistency with my vegetables, my mushrooms, and my spinach. And voila! So now we're that our chaffle is done, we're just going to put our sandwich together. So we've put everything on our chaffle, our mixture, our feta cheese, our avocado, and our pepper jack cheese, and we're done. There is the mushroom spinach chaffle. Doesn't it look delicious? This is vegan friendly. Um, except the cheese so you guys want to eliminate the cheese you can do so uh, or you can add vegan cheese to it and still come out you know with the same sandwich this was delicious uh, really good you can make the mixture and use it in something else if you like I hope you guys enjoyed this video Hopefully you'll give me a thumbs up. Hopefully if you're new to the channel, you'll hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can receive notifications when I upload. Um, hopefully you guys will try this recipe and then give me a comment of what you think or how you think it was. Enjoy!